The February 1928 Winter Olympics in St. Moritz. The games were in their infancy and all the venues were outside. They may seem pretty basic, but everything was on a much smaller scale in those days, with only 25 nations participating. This is the oldest bobsleigh track in the world and the only one that's naturally refrigerated. And this is the ice rink where Switzerland won its only medal in the 1928 Games, a bronze. Samaritz also hosted the first Winter Olympics after the Second World War in 1948. Luckily, the venues from the last Winter Games could be reused, as neutral Switzerland suffered very little damage during the war. The bobsleigh track today, the original one from 1903, is still in good shape. Many people in Graubünden are hoping it will be used again in the 2022 Olympics. The area boasts high mountains, lots of snow and spectacular ski slopes. But what it will need is stadiums and lots of buildings to accommodate the athletes and their support teams from more than 80 countries. In Davos, organisers want to build a new arena for the freestyle disciplines, with seating for 10,000 spectators. This would remain after the games are finished. There's a big field next to the Lake of Davos, the projected site of a speed skating stadium for 6,000 spectators. And an ice hockey stadium seating 10,000. The existing hockey stadium would also be used. The new buildings would be dismantled afterwards and hopefully sold and re-erected elsewhere. New stadiums are also planned in the Engadine. The village of Samedan would become an important Olympic venue. There's a projected stadium for ice skating with warm-up and training halls for the athletes. One of these buildings would be left for the locals after the Games. Then they'll need Olympic villages for the athletes. In San Moritz, the aim is to modernise two hotels, the club hotels Roi Soleil and Reine Victoria. The Mountain Railway Company is planning a third hotel. In total, these will sleep 2,200. In Davos, the Hoern Clinic would serve as an Olympic village, but an additional 3,800 beds must also be provided. There'll be 700 apartments like this in three-storey blocks. Craftsmen will fit out the double rooms in the local style. After the Games, these buildings are expected to be used as old people's homes, training camps or hotels. There would be no new buildings for the Games near the Lake of St. Moritz. This impressive location is earmarked for the opening and closing ceremonies. The 2022 Winter Olympics are still a long way off and may even be held elsewhere. But if Graubünden does succeed, it is committed to holding games that are sustainable with short transits and events that use existing facilities as much as possible.